welcome back to the Knits by Ada knitting podcast. Uh, my name is Ada. Uh, I'm a 21 year old knitter from Finland and this is my corner on the internet where I share all of the knitting I do and occasionally some crochet and my cats might make an appearance which they mostly do. So this is episode number three. Uh, I follow a fairly straightforward format with these, just the regular one that everyone else does. So let's get started. Uh, My first finished object is what I'm wearing. Uh, This is the vest number three by My Favorite Things Knitwear. I did this in the size extra large. I I have notes in my lap, so apologies if I keep looking now, but yeah. Uh, This is in the size extra large. And this is actually the second time that I've made this vest. The first time I made it as like a scrappy kind of uh, vest. It's a very, it has a lot of rainbow colors and I really like that. But I realized once I started wearing that more as the fall is approaching that I really wanted just a regular black one. And I had some leftover, not leftover, I didn't really even use that yarn anywhere. But like I had some balls of drops Nepal in black. So I decided to used it that to make this so as i said uh, drops nepal that is uh what did i put here uh 65 wool and 35 percent alpaca mix uh it's very soft yeah uh and i held the nepal with these random random uh, random lace weight cones of i had one cone of like lace weight mohair in black and just one cone of lace weight yarn in black and i'm not sure if i made gauge i think i did it's a very drapey fabric which i like uh my other one is much more heavy because i i think with that one i definitely didn't make gauge but (laughs) but yeah and yeah uh, i used the recommended nine meter nine millimeter needles for the body and then seven millimeter needles for the ribbing And one modification that I did that I also did with my first one is uh, in the pattern it tells you to do an I-cord edge on the around the armholes but I didn't really like that I thought the arms didn't come out far enough I don't know if you can see that because I think it looks a little bit like a black blob on me but yeah I didn't like how far the armholes came out so I wanted to a bit more length, so I just did ribbing with 7mm needles, and that worked out fine. And I think that is everything. But So yeah, this is my finished object. I've gotten a lot of wear on, a lot of wear on this around the house and going around the, in town. I find that because it's so drippy, like the wind, like if it's really windy, I don't know how to say if it passes right through, but like it does allow some breathability with the fabric. So if it is a bit warmer, I don't get like extremely hot. And yeah, I've liked wearing this with like a long sleeve black shirt and then this under and doing like a whole black look. I find that really, really nice. But yeah, that's my finished object number one. Uh, My second one is one that you've seen oh yeah this was just like a random i was feeling uh kind of stressed out with like my two test knits so i needed something else and this was a nice quick one but yeah this finished object is something you've seen before this is my finished gingham jumper so this is by friday knits it's in the size extra large and I knit this with Novita Wonder Wool, which is a hundred percent lamb's wool. Uh, I think I actually even searched the color, which I didn't do previously. Uh, it's in the color Jade, and then I used for the contrast color uh, Drops Lima, which is the same mix as Nepal, sixty-five percent wool, thirty-five percent alpaca. I used that for the contrast in black. But yeah, um, to be honest, 
or first let me just go through the stats first uh yeah that was the yarn and then uh, I it's 4.5 millimeter needles for the body and 3.5 for all the ribbing it has a nice folded collar which I um I knitted down I think in the pattern it suggests that you first cast off and sew it down or then I think it suggests that you like sew down the live stitches with the uh, picked up stitches but I just knit it down with uh, Jenny's surprisingly stretchy bind off I find that gives me like this is like a really big neckline but I didn't want I've been burned once before with my Arthur sweater so I did not want to experience that again and yeah I did the split hem uh, it's longer in the back than it is on the front and yeah um, kind of mixed feelings did I mention the designer? it's by Friday Knits but yeah this is a test knit for Friday Knits report back on if it has relaxed then yeah but I wouldn't I would say that once the pattern comes out I would like definitely recommend if you want the contiguous shoulder like it does like once I get it on it does fit great but yeah just might not be for me but don't knock it until you try it right <laughs> but yeah there's that. I think we've gone deep enough of a rubbing hole on that sweater. Next up, a bunch of socks. <laughs> so in my first episode, I showed this one sock that I had finished. Uh, it was just a regular vanilla sock that I of a recipe that I had made up, and I had not. And I think last episode I have cast on, but I didn't show the second sock. But I finished. They're done! And I have refrained from wearing these so that they would look nice and pretty for this episode. And part of the reason why I decided to film today because I couldn't wait any longer. I wanted to wear all my knit socks because it's been getting... It, we've been having like a lot of rainy days. Today is like an unexceptionally warm day for some reason. But a lot of rainy days and then my I live in the upstairs bedroom. So it does get, for some reason, even though... It shouldn't it does get really cold because i feel like heat because i know the heat travels up so it should be getting warmer but it feels like it, it's getting colder in here than it is downstairs but anyway finished my pair of socks these are just no pattern uh, i used 3.5 millimeter needles uh 48 stitches uh did a slip stitch heel i think and the gusset is i think what that what's what that is called and yeah, uh, this is the Noveta Seven Brothers yarn. Uh, this is the old mix. They've updated their mix of the yarn since I bought this. This is a uh, seventy-five twenty-five of wool and polyamide. The current one is eighty twenty. And then I also I don't know. Can you? Yeah, you can see. Uh, it has this yellow random mohair that I mixed into it to give it a bit more extra warmth and also I think give it more strength but yeah I finished uh yeah I think that's all I have to I will say that with the next pair of socks I found out that I've been doing my toe decreases too rapidly <laughs> which I I think I've I've always known but I've been lying to myself about it but yeah so these are kind of like kind of have to stretch like they do fit but but they do have to stress, but also they will stretch out with wear over time so that it doesn't even matter anymore. Which is also what I've been telling myself that make it a bit smaller than it needs to be so that when it stretches, it doesn't stretch out too much. But yeah, those are my random socks. And then these ones were also just kind of a random cast on because I was sick of working on 
all of my other projects and I had good sock knitting mojo are these beauties. So these are the Ainikki socks from, what's her name, Ronia Hakalehto. And, and they are from this Suuri Käsityö Kauneimmat Klassikat uh, sock knitting book. This has a bunch of, actually how many, yeah, 30 sock knitting recipes on this book. And I bought this, what, like a year ago and I've done two pairs <laughs> now. I just really like looking at these for inspiration, but yeah, I did one pair and I don't have that pair anymore because they broke. The, I think at the exact same time, both of the socks got a, like beyond repair, rip, or like a hole in the heel. So I threw those away. <laughs> I don't have them anymore, but yeah. Uh, I think I'll actually show you if I can find it. Oh, there they are. Or, that's the recipe, I don't want to show that. Yeah, there. Yeah, but these were really simple. It just has this, that. Yeah, it just has that color work section on the uh, leg. Uh, slip stitch heel. And then with these ones, I actually did a correct toe. Can you tell? And these ones fit much better than those previous socks. And I've also refrained from wearing these because I wanted them to look nice for the pod. And and for these, I used some random sock yarn. I have no idea what it is. I just have this bin full of random sock yarn or random yarn that I've bought from this. It's like a thrift thrift store for our things nearby me in a nearby city. It has like leftover yarns from people that they donate or like untouched yarn or fabric and stuff like that. It's my favorite place in the world and I buy a lot of my yarn from there. So I bought these random balls of scrap sock yarn or something, both the white and the blue, and I knit my socks. And also one thing I did with these is I did kind of like a two at a time. So I had, cause I do my socks on double point needles. So I did like one sock on another set of 3.5 double point needles and another one on the top of my needles. And I think like, first I do the ribbing on both and then I did the color work on both. And then I, or like I did, I think I did the color work and then I did one on the heel and then I just finished it because I, was, I wasn't feel like doing another heel. So yeah, I found that I really like that. These are, I think I knit these like in two days or three days, I think, yeah. And I, I think I might want to do that again because it was really fast <laughs> and uh, I think it makes the process a lot easier once you actually have the other socks started to actually finish it because I find that the the worst thing is starting the second sock. I don't have any inspiration to do that after I finish the first one. <laughs> but yeah, my Einicke socks and I really like the color combination or wait, actually I don't know if you can tell, like maybe, but this one is a slightly different blue than this one. And I didn't notice until I had finished the pair because I thought I had two balls of the same yarn, but apparently this other one, the other ball was a bit more like a muted blue. So yeah, like I can only really tell if I'm really looking at it but it doesn't bother me that much. But yeah, my Aniki socks, my lovely socks. And then those are all my finished objects for the first two-ish two -ish weeks of August. Now I have one finished object, it's one sock, 
but this was not done during this month but I'm working on the other pair on this sock so I thought I'd show you what this sock is going to look like once it's finished so yeah whips are next <laughs> so this is this nice cabled sock these are called the Lonto Rai socks by they're from this book Navita and Fatser Sukleti number two or volume two I only have the second one I don't have the first one and what's the the designer is Hanne Mari Lehtonen and I think that one is a good and I'm doing them in the exact same yarn because <laughs> uh, when the book published they published also a line of uh, yarn or Novita did a published yarn inspired by different candy produced by Fatser and Lonto Rai is like a famous candy here in Finland they're kind of like pastely things I don't really like them but I like this color and yeah I these socks have been like a work in progress for six months now this book came out in December I think is when I bought it I cast on one sock and in like pink acrylic because I didn't buy this specific yarn and I think I got almost down to the toe when I realized I hated the pink and also I didn't like how the because it was acrylic I didn't like how it was like working up so I ripped back that those socks bought the actual yarn cast on I think these like took me this took me like three months to finish because for some reason I think it's this kind of cable that goes across I think four rounds I just hated hated doing that like I was like I don't want to do cable after cable I want some stock in it please which is kind of stupid because there is no stock in it <laughs> but yeah I finished this I cast on another one and I've gotten two cable patterns I did one like two months ago no a month ago and then in the last few days I did a second one so I think me showing it on here is me making a commitment to actually try and work on these and finish these goddamn socks <laughs> for once I mean I do really like how the final result looks but yeah it's, it's hard but I think because I have my Irish sweetheart sweater which is a very heavily cabled one I think I've gotten like the strength to maybe actually finish these uh, I did make one modification and it's the heel I just find that I like a slip stitch heel with a flap and gusset much better than I do a short row heel because these the original pattern has a short row heel and I'm not I don't I'm not against it but if I have to choose this one so since it's all in one color and then you just continue straight in the stock in it on the bottom of the foot so I was just like I'll just do a slip stitch heel flap and gusset and make it a much better fit uh, now one thing I will have to get a take into account when I finish the other sock is with this one I did my a very short toe or my very rapid toe decreases so I have to remember to do those on the other one so that it'll match instead of the actually correct toe decreases I am suffering from my past mistakes <laughs> but yeah uh, overall I really like this I hadn't actually blocked this sock because I was I, ha I was thinking in my brain that I'll block them at the same time but I decided that in order to get inspiration to work on the other side, I should probably see how the finished project product will actually look nice and pretty. So I went and blocked it and it looks really nice and I think I've got a newfound inspiration to actually finish the second sock. And yeah, 
that is my last sock project and I think now that I'm looking at all of my finished objects for some reason I'm channeling very heavily like spring energy because our all of these are like very string spring heavy colors when we're going into fall but yeah oh yeah these are done on four millimeter needles I don't think I mentioned but yeah and yeah, this is the yarn is also the Seven Brothers old seventy five twenty five. Or wait, actually, I don't know, but I don't think they updated the Karki or the Foster collaboration yarn. So I think that one is still. Or no, that one is eighty twenty. That one always was. Yeah, eighty twenty mix of wool and polymod is this one, I think. But yeah. Ding ding ding. ding. Next, uh, I'll keep going with my small project. This one is actually a fall color, and it's my weekend hat by Petite Knit. I've gotten some progress done. I'm new. I'm not usually this low with these hats, but I've I have a lot lot of other projects. But yeah, I did the fall first section of the double ribbon. I think I'm like halfway through. The second section and then I'll do the other one and then knit on and do decreases but yeah I just haven't had that much inspiration to work on these work on this hat but yeah uh, it's knit on 3.5 millimeter needles and I'm doing the adult small I think yes and that is the, this is like my fifth hat and that's the size I've done on all of them and they fit really great. So this one I think will also fit really nicely. And this is another color from the Seven Brothers uh, candy line with Fatser. This is in the color Marianne, which is like a mint chocolate candy. They're okay. I don't really eat them that much. But yeah, that is my hat and I think I don't know why it's taking me so long because when I first saw the weekend weekend hat um, I don't know why it's taking me so long to finish this because I when I first saw the weekend hat um, product project page on her website I really loved the red color and every time I was making a new one I was thinking I really want a red one and now that I'm actually making the red one, it's taking me forever. But thankfully it hasn't gotten cold enough yet that I that I have like have to have this, but yep. Yeah. Can't wait to finish. And my last work in progress. I feel like I should preface this by or not preface, but like just say uh I haven't worked on the Moby sweater at all. I've worked on finishing my two test knits, and I think once I finish my, this Irish sweet, sweetheart sweater. I think that after that I will just work on the Moby. I won't cast on any new sweater projects until that one is like done to actually work on finish finishing that. But yeah. But Irish sweetheart sweater. I feel like this will get blown out because it's such a bright red. <laughs> yeah, but the body is done. And I feel like it's the longest body I've ever done. Uh, part of it, I think, is the reason that the... I don't know. There is no reason. But, yeah. It is a really long... It doesn't even fit in the frame properly. Oh, no, it does. My Irish sweetheart sweater thing. Uh, this is a test knit for In Stitches by Imogen. And it's knit on four. Uh, no, it's knit on five millimeter needles for the body, and then four point five for the, all of the ribbing. And I'm once again using Drops Nepal for this one in their bright red color. And yeah, it's really long. Uh, one thing I've been a bit confused is uh, I asked in the group chat like, how much should I expect? For this to like shrink because you know like when you block it like especially with cables once you stretch it this way 
it does inevitably shrink, shrink like lengthwise. But this, the designer said that it should grow lengthwise, which I'm not that sure about. We'll see. I made it longer just in case that it actually did shrink down a lot because I think like right now it is very close fit to the body and it, it virtually has like it does have some ease but like it is like very snug so I definitely have to stretch it this way to get the ease that I want and I've I've done the body long enough that it shouldn't if it does which I think it will shrink lengthwise it shouldn't shrink that so much that it will be an uncomfortable fit uh, right now it is uh, about my hips I think yeah is where it lays down naturally with the with the length but yeah I really like the color and it's going to be so cozy once I actually get it done and I don't know if I have anything else to say about it uh, I think today I will work on doing the color and then doing the arms which I will have to say like this is really big <laughs> this is really big about an armhole so I mean it has to like shorten like otherwise why would you leave this much space for an armhole yeah it has to anyway uh yeah that's this project i don't think i have anything else to say about that other than i'll just keep on working i think i will finish that within this month yeah or i think yeah because i don't think the sleeves are gonna take me that, that much longer because they're they'll be on a much shorter shorter um circumference and the sleeves i think have a different cable pattern on the center it's not the same diamond as is on the body but yeah and i think or i know that that is all of my whips as i said the moby sweater hasn't had any progress and i will fo focus on that once the irish sweetheart sweater is done and then we shall go into acquisitions of which i have two and they're not yarn uh they are some knitting magazine thing on my jibs so the first one is this novita magazine and i mainly oh, bought this for the the blue sweater why is my nose itching so much yeah i mainly bought this for the blue sweater in the front even though it does have some other really nice patterns which i think i will make but yeah really nice patterns there's like a dress and there's like a collar thing and a headband which i think i definitely will make but yeah mainly this one because I've been having a really hard time finishing the or making the cumulus blouse and I've been thinking the problem is that it is a raglan construction because you have to knit so much flat before you get to join in the round and join the V in the front so I, the, from what I I I looked at the pattern and this one is a drop shoulder construction so you do the back first and then the two fronts and then you join which I think I would enjoy much more than I would doing a raglan so I think I will finish my cumulus blouse one that I'm making like as a summer t-shirt which I'm making short sleeve I will finish that one probably not this year I think that will probably have to carry on next year because I have no inspiration to work on that but I think once I finish the Moby and I have no active sweater whips, I will cast on this one with the drops ear that I bought because I think that one should 
meet the gauge and I think it's almost exactly the same color as this one and I really love this bright blue. <laughs> so yeah, that is the plan. And then the other knitting magazine I bought is this Käsityön ABC. It has 40 different, or no, it has almost, it says almost 40 different sock patterns. Uh, I think I have a feeling I'll be making the one in the front and then I actually have I think once I finish my Lonto Rai socks I have one that I think I will make for my dad because I asked him if he wanted one pair there it's these are called the chess chess square socks uh, there and this one only has one size from a U, EU 42 to a 43 and my dad fits that so I thought that I would first like make him a pair before I try and start to manipulate the pattern to fit my feet since I am a size 38 a very small 38 I'm like more of a I think we once got my feet measured and I am like, I am under 38, but I'm too big to be a 37, so I wear 38, but yeah, I ha I don't have 42 size feet, <laughs> so I will make that pattern for my dad, because he also, he likes to play chess, so I just thought it'd be fun and I can use some scrap yarn, or some scrap sock yarn that I bought to do, and I really love the little color work square thing it has on the bottom of the foot. Sorry if the, if the view is crooked, my dad called me and I had to take my phone away from the stand. But yeah, these are my acquisitions, my yarn, which I am kind of happy because I'm finding the, I have too much yarn, I think you can see like part of my stash with these bright green flora which i'm very excited to use but yeah and in fact you're actually positioned on top of a box of my yarn <laughs> in order to get the height i needed to film here and i'm actually filming this drawer is is actually i think i might it's like full of full of yarn all three drawers so quite literally, literally my yarn corner. Tiffany, I'm coming for you. Your thing. My tiny yarn corner. And I think all that is left to do is talk about the media I've consumed in the last two-ish weeks. So, Lord of the Rings, first book. I have about 10 hours left, I think. Of it and the second one I've been kind of an on an anime binge recently Ella, my cat is very interested in my tripod yeah anime binge I watched Black Butler I think the two seasons there are yes or I watched something but yeah I watched the Black Butler like the Circus, circus arc, and then the Alois Trancy arc, whatever it is, and stuff like that, and then the Angel Queen thing. I watched those seasons that are available. Available, and then one that I really enjoyed uh, was that time I got reincarnated as a slime. I watched. I think. I think three seasons. Or, or is it two season two part one and two but yeah whatever uh and then i also watched the movie that it has been released and now i'm eagerly waiting for the next season because i really like that one i think most of the time it's like a really feel good anime uh it's just it just makes me happy all around and so i would definitely recommend that one if you're looking for a new anime to watch 
and then I also have one he is trying to get into places he should not get but yeah then I have uh, one podcast recommendation which is Apple Makes I think is her name on YouTube yes Apple Makes on YouTube uh, I think she does post kind of irregularly but what from what she's posted I really like her way of bot- podcasting and I re- really like the projects that she's making so I would definitely recommend following her following her on YouTube and I think she also has an or yeah I know she has an Instagram so also there I guess if you want and I think that is all uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed all of the projects that I'm cu- seeing all of the projects that I'm currently working on. Uh, I'm kind of glad that I've managed to like cut the whips down to like three main ones. Makes me feel a lot better about my progress when I only have three main things. And if you'd like to see more pictures of finished objects and stuff like that. I also have a knitting Instagram, Knits by Ada. You can follow me there to see more. I don't really, yeah, I only post like finished object photos or maybe like work in progress photos, but yeah, if you wanna. Yeah, you can follow me on Instagram at Knits by Ada to see more finished object photos and how I style things, stuff like that. And also some occasional work in progress photos if I feel like I'm up to it. I feel like the light is sort of shifting. I'm sorry. (laughs) And yeah, if you want, I would really appreciate if you subscribed. Uh, Maybe hit the like. I don't know. I don't. Well, I do care. But like you do whatever you want with your life and stuff like that. And (laughs) Karsten <laughs> is coming to say hi and I guess that's all I have for today uh, thank you so much for staying till the end and watching and I hope you enjoy yeah I hope you enjoy the rest of your day or morning or evening or whatever time it is for you right now and I hope to see you next time bye